five, four. Five, four, three, two, one. Greetings and welcome everyone to the fifth episode today of Pinky Ponage. If you're wondering why I'm doing so many in a row, I honestly have no idea. It's summer vacation and I want to get as much done as I possibly can. So today, we're going to go find out what Skylar's got in mind for us. In the next episode, I'm going to be doing a drag race, so don't expect any commentary. I'll probably throw in some music and shoot some Nazis. Have fun with that. Hello, Skippy. Wilcox, was it? Well, let's hope you don't suck it. If you're not too busy messing about with these Frenchies, could be I got a real job for you. What's that? You need help changing Bishop's diapers? <laughs> That's just grand. See, somehow Bishop got in his head that you're not just another sheep-headed paddy fuck. Looks like the old man owes me ten quid. I'm sure the British won't miss ten quid. But if His Majesty wants my help, it'll cost him considerably more than that. That's what he said you'd say. What's the job? The Jerrys have taken over an old abbey outside of town. Converted the place into an experimental radar facility. What the fuck is radar? Secret business bit over your head. Anyway, were it up to me, I'd dial up a squadron of Lancasters and blow that shite hole back to medieval times. But the Jerrys are using our nuns as human shields. Our flyboys want nothing to do with it. So you need a man on the ground to do your dirty work for you? The old man says you've got a talent for sneaking into places and blowing them up. He seems to think you're our man. I say why not? You get yourself killed, well. That's just one less paddy fuck to worry about. Keep grinning, you tosser. I'll be back here to wipe that smile off your face when the job's done. Okay, go rescue... <laughs> Alright, time to go rescue some meat shields. Let's see... What kind of ammunition should I bring? Eh, fuck it. I got what I got. <sighs> Let me think here. Uh... First thing I gotta do is I gotta go get a sweet ride. We've got a few different cars. Look around. Yeah, I'd love to know where the fuck you're storing this shit. Okay, um. Silver claw. I feel like taking you out for a spin. <clears throat> I love how they can't get the coloring right for the life of them. Now, let's see here. Step one process, gotta rescue all the nuns, can't- Oh, that's right! Meat shields are becoming a thing, aren't they? Last two episodes, I've had to deal with that. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, look into Wedding Crashers, an episode that really needs to be redone, since I seriously botched it. I mean, I couldn't make one joke, I couldn't think of anything. But, uh, what could I do for commentary here? I'm not narcissistic enough to say I'm gonna go plow these fuckers. I'm not driving a tractor, I've got a goddamn race car, so I can't say I'm gonna be quick to the finish. All, both of which make for really great episodes. How the fuck is this thing still around? I mean, shit, these old-fashioned race cars were fragile as all fuck nuts. In fact, they were literal death traps back in the day. And I'm not even kidding. Like, one loose screw, one, uh, mis one misplaced wire, one untightened nut. One little bump in the road, and you're flying through the air like the rockets on Tears of Grace. Seriously, look up Kerbal's launch, T-O-G, or Tears of Grace. I'm gonna give the guy a lot of credit. His edits are fun, but he is a terrible mechanic and a horrible architect. I would not trust him. Hello, precious. Ugh. Why is that on my radar? I don't care about that. Excuse me, come through. Pardon me. Seriously? Oh. Whoops. 
Now, let's see here. Basic protocol and plan would be mass diversion, our secret assassination. I should probably steal a uniform while I'm on my way. Damn it. I had the opportunity to do that and I didn't think of it. Oh well. Meow. Suck a dick. Physics. Yep. It's a pit stop when you need one. <laughs> Pretty sure the car would have exploded right there. Oh, super co. And my driving is shit. <laughs> God, I, I can't see the road or anything. Bad camera angle. Well, I'm gonna blame my driving and I'm gonna blame the angle. Meantime. Damn. Too quick on the draw. I need to reread the driving instructions. I'll do that later. Uh, here's actually a good question, then, since I'm on the subject. How you guys been? Well, no, that's not commentary for a show. Ignore that comment. Didn't happen. Let me think. God, what? Are, how do commentators do it? I mean, seriously, I'm trying my best here, but let's be honest. I'm no Tears of Grace. I'm not a Kind Ale War. This isn't nostalgia critic material, and by no means is it something I would expect. God damn, how far is this shit? Seriously. Destroy. I have been here eight times! Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, really? No, I, I'm not kidding. I have come up here. I have tried to free these girls eight different times now. Come on, you stupids. Oy, okay. Ah, perfect. Ah, okay, perfect. And stab a bitch. Send these fellas home to mama. Stab a bitch. What, seriously? Your two best buds are dead right over here and you're not gonna find by me? That works. Perfect. I'll swap over to this. I doubt that's going to be enough, but let's give it a test run just to be sure. That works. Huh. Hey, General! This old crumb's tougher than you. That was uncomfortable. They can't be this stupid. I'm walking in effectively a straight line. He died?
damn it. <clears throat> Whatever happened to sneaking in? I'm pretty sure it went out the window when the guy saw me shooting at him, and I kept shooting at him, and he didn't die, and, you know, I tried. I genuinely tried. How the fuck do I get up there? Is that a sniper tower? Do I even have enough explosives for this thing? What the fuck? How did you escape? <clears throat> yeah, stupid is as stupid does. Weren't for the fact that I know he's going to be replaced the minute. Night shit, you not. You can test this on us. The second I kill him. One of these fucktards. Let's stay down! How? No, seriously, how? This irische Schwein is here on front! Man, these guys are just begging me to kill him, aren't they? Seine Flanke ist offen! Was ist los mit dir? Er gewinnt! Stay down. I need your skin. That sounded almost as bad as I thought it would. There is no way in hell that's enough firepower to bring it down. There is no way that was enough firepower to bring it down. I don't know if I'm more disappointed in game mechanics, or I am in just how shitty their en their engineering has gotta be. I mean, fucking hell, really? That was your Hail Mary? <laughs> oh, now I just feel cheated. Seriously? Wait, so two shots from this thing will take it down? You've got to be kidding me. I... Freaking light post? Really? Fine. Whatever. Two down. I bet you want to bet these guys are really starting to question why they're attacking me when I'm... Come on. There we go. Knob off. Knob off. Knob off. If you blow this up, you're more likely to do more damage to yourself than you are to me. Is that hitting it? <clears throat> I mean, I get why they did this, because you can literally just get into turret, uh, getting one of these turrets in most places and just go to town. You'll destroy everything relatively easy. So they gave it limitations on what you could do with it. <clears throat> well, I wish I could say that was planned. It was not. So, yeah. Okay, um... Christ almighty. I don't have anything for this. I mean, shit. I need to find a jammer. And quick. Very least get out from outside, because this shit is not going to end well for me. Boom! Hey!
headshot. God, how do they do it? Jokes. Seriously? Ay, whatever. Okay, let me think. Um, God, I need some jokes or something. I mean, I can't even do, like, my son even have a stack of jokes for this. I mean, nothing's coming through. It's like they're all jammed up somewhere. God, I only wish... It's like, I, I wish I could... I think someone's trying to send me a signal, but I just can't get it. It's like the funny just refuses to flow. It, it's beyond aggravating, you know? Ah, it's so frustrating. <clears throat> I mean, I feel like I'm out here blind and alone and totally just unaware of how much shit I'm in. Oh, man, it really does just kind of make you feel bad, you know? There's got to be a way up there. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going inside. <clears throat> come on, come on, come on. Ah, uh, yes. The obligatory days when this was considered smart. I remember those days. Back when this wasn't a death sentence for both parties. You've got to be kidding me. Are those bullets not reaching him? You know what? Nub off. <clears throat> oh, right. Oh, crap, I sprung a leg. I feel like I'm skitzing all over the place. Nothing seems to track, you know? God, I, I mean, shit. Oh, look! We're back in Spider Man! I didn't even think that was gonna be a reference. Then again, I was also giving them enough credit to realize that was a very stupid idea. <sighs> yeah, I still don't understand why brand recognition was a thing the Nazis were going for. I, I get propaganda and all that- hey! There we go! Hey! That must mean I can get out, or get up. Did I take everything? Mission complete! 700, and I am not going to be able to spend that anytime soon. Good grief. Okay, first thing. Where are the nuns? Where are the nuns? I think they're the exact same people. Oh my god, I just released a horde of clones. 
anyway, bad jokes on the side, or just commentary on the game. Where's a good place to ditch that? Because I'm going to say it right now, not exactly looking forward to... Wait, what's over here anyway? Well, guys, I'm going to wrap this episode up by blowing up these three little things inside the circle here. And, um, I'm going to head north after that for those little three. So, with that in mind, I'm going to say this. Commentary is hard. Endings are easy, somewhat, in generality. Just do a wrap-up or some finishing comments or something. Not very bad. Not very hard. And, uh, last but not least, or, you know, not certainly not very least, um, genuinely have fun with it. If you're in the mood to create, create. Do your thing, man. Bleeding. Hey, I remember you. Uh, another thing you should probably be wary of, enemy troops will shoot you, but... Point number two. <clears throat> uh... In all honesty, when you do something like this, don't expect to have a lot of room for fun shenanigans and stuff like that. And this is one of those single-player only type games. It's not bad. It's actually pretty well done. <clears throat> Problem, again, single-player motif. You know, pick your battles, pick your poisons. Who the fuck managed to see me? No, seriously, who saw me? Out of hell with it. Uh, from the look of things, I went too far north. Need to go this way. I have two machine guns, one silence, one's not. I have three obnoxious plots to deal with as well. This real quick. And the last one's down here by the road. That's a fucking bullet. I'm good. Hey, what do you know? An excuse to break my word and run like hell. I think I'll take it. Good thing these things are a lot faster than given credit for. Oh, and I'm on alarm level four. And I'm in Germany in alarm level four. Yowza. Moments like. <clears throat> Yeah, I can. God. <clears throat> okay, guys, I'm going to wrap this up here because I'm not going to outrun the Nazis in the time it takes me to end this video. So, <clears throat> if I, oh, I stand corrected. Oh, you can just run right through that stuff. Okay. <clears throat> Good to know. That's what you get for ratting me out. I was almost out. Yeah, I'm not going to outrun these guys. Okay, thanks guys for visiting. This has been Pinky Ponage with a rather <clears throat> twisted and contorted episode. How did I not run over any of that stuff?
Anyway, see you guys later. Come on, come on, come on. Bye.